Hi, I'm Avery here. Nice to meet you all again. Hope you are doing well during the pandemic season now. So today I'll be introducing Osmo Global Mod. And now I have to introduce you with how it use and the accessory. Now I do the layout accessory. So by the layout, we have the insert color gels. And small insert here. I'll teach you all how to use the cover mod. So it's very easy. Choose the insert that you wanted. So just slide in to the insert here, like this. So the insert will be sliding in out, and then we insert the insert to the cover mod. And we can see here. We got the love shape in front of it already. So here we can see the love shape inside. And this is how we use it in the first way. So how to use in with the smaller insert. First of all, you see, but insert here, we have the arrow. We can see the arrow here. Okay, we can see the arrow here. So just insert the insert in the according to arrow and then put it in the insert. A few things to remember doing the insert of the insert is try to ensure that the insert is inserted in this center row here. You can see here the center row. And then as I insert the insert, it will be something like this. So it's balance on the one side out. So the weight of this is because when we insert the insert without the alignment, it will run away and the projectile that produces won't be so nice as accordingly. And another big good function about this gobble mod is we can put color gel. So by inserting the color gel in front of this holder, and then the holder will insert it. You can project any color that you want. Another cool thing about this Gobo mod is we can zoom in and zoom out. So that by zoom in and zoom out, we can make the light is more spread out or more focused. So zoom in and zoom out is this way function. Then now we will proceed with the shooting. Sorry about uh, my mic is was off at the time I didn't realize it. Now I will demo to you how to use this global mod in the correct way. First of all, we on the modeling light, and then by using the lighting or guidance of the modeling light, we arrange the light or adjust the light accordingly. And if you want to adjust the uh, upward direction or turn the figuration of the shape, just turn it. And then, and now I'm using the love shape. If I now to change the shape, just put downward and slide in into the insert. So please adjust. You see, now the alignment is not corrected, and then the shape will be outward and then loose a bit. Now I put in the correct alignment, and you see the alignment, the uh, the effect is more better. So move, move accordingly and now it's a zoom in and zoom out effect. The more the zoom in, the more clearer and more sharper the image that will be created. Now I change the plate insert to a smaller one as a demo. See, this is the window shape. put in, in the insert and we have a shaded window shade pattern inside now we we'll begin the shot I'm using a one light system first and it's the effect is not as promising as I have seen but we can use the one light to create some dramatic effect like this to focus on one side so I've set in a different slide of one 
and now I turn into the moon lake, uh, moon shape. But the moon shape, I feel that if you are using a one light system, it doesn't have any effect at all. But I try using the window settings, yes, you have some unique effect, but the moonlight, it doesn't have any effect at all. So I change, I improvise, and now we have the effect. Now I starting to use two light system, one uh, one light as a guiding, and another light to fill out the subject. Because the lighting, if we are using one light, it doesn't pop out another subject, even though we have the creative effect. So I need to make the effect also better, and use the modeling light as a guide. You can see now I using a modeling light as a guide. Now we change to another settings and another effect. You can see the window the curtain effect that I used for this shot and the more I zoom out, the more contrast the effect are. So this is a shot that we, we, uh, we made and sorry I forgot to introduce my model. So. And we are back with our shootings finish. So according to just on the shootings, I first I try with one light system. In the end, the one light system I find out that the lighting that it produces is too contrast. So I make it become a two lighting system. So the by looking at doing the two lighting system in the photos uh, in the behind the scene we just now saw, one light will be directing the shadow effect or the lighting effect that you wanted by the gobble mod another one is lighter out the subject so another thing to really really to very focus on by using this is try to make sure that we screw all the things or the things this screw correctly and securely if not when you insert it will run and then when you move you cannot insert at all your mount to the lighting system. So after screwing, tighten up, we can unscrew it to adjust accordingly. When, after we insert it to the lighting system, then secondly, do remember to zoom according to the size and the uh, the size and shape that you wanted, and insert the insert accordingly. Because I try a few insert without correctly, the projectile come out. It's not as good as it seems and good thing about this is it create very unique uh, shadow or lighting system like effect to the photo we have seen but do remember to use the correct type of insert to match your uh, style that you wanted because I observe of when I using this using one light system when we pull out the lighting it become very harsh by the inverse square law effect. So try to make it, if you want to use the effect, try to use a bigger and or bigger a bit. Try to zoom in as close as possible within the global mode. And another thing to remember of when you are using this global mode is do remember the insert, do insert the insert securely. Because when you insert wrongly, it will come out like this when you're using a small one and big one is a perfect match so it's not a problem for a big one only a small one has the problem this is a review and testing of this global mode with my uh, test out if you have any question regarding how to use the global mode system how to sh I shoot the settings and etc 
You can write out in a comment below. I try to answer you as soon as possible. Hope to see you all next time. Bye.